I decided I wanted the last leaks video to be the most action packed and dense. We go all out for Dragon and then some more by smashing out every boss along the way alongside the common achievements with our magic build. Hope you guys enjoy. So the most important boss we have to grind right now at the start of this video is Chambers of Xerox because we still need that final ancestral piece. Can you guess what it is? The legs. Just like the good old Iron Bar days where I went 2000 so raid strive for it. It will complete the strongest magic build in all of Leaks 4 though once I get it. Also, I want to finish up the combat achievements here for the points as well. There is a 150 Chambers League task, which I should do because I already did 90 plus of them going for the Preserve last episode. If I do 50 Challenge Bar Raids for a chance to get that Ancestral Legs, it's going to be another 200 points. Other Purples are also 200 points, so it's massive for that Dragon Rank grind. Nope. Yep. What'd you get? Wow, that's so troll. Oh, I got another pet. The dream team disbanded for the day, so it is time to do some AFK skilling for points and take a break. So we gotta pace this grind a bit because doing challenge mode chambers with a good group is way faster for purples than soloing. So when we don't have that dream team, we have to move on to some other fun PVM tasks just to be efficient. So we seem to have a bit more than we need for 25 mil farming. Still have probably a few mil XP. A nice 25 mil cooking. Oh shit, we did it. 35 mil cooking, guys. Let's go. But yeah, that's pretty much all the raw food I ever had. Next, it was time to try out Hydra as I got the task finally. I figured I should get the Brimstone Ring as it is our best in slot ring. The goal is to hope I can finish this ring around 150 kills as I don't want to spend too much more time than that. Ooh, 5 mil XP to 35 mil. Ooh, 50 alchemical Hydra kills. Nice. Oh, 150 combat achievements. Let's go. 200 points. Easy. Oh my god. No way. I got a Hydra's Claw. Shit. Before I complete the ring. Uh -oh. <laughs> I can't do anything with it though. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Second ring piece. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna bank now though. Alright, one more ring piece. Can I get it before the task is over? Please. Oh my god, no way, another one. <laughs> no. Oh, 35 mil range. Yeah, another 200 points. Sheesh. Okay, well, we're gonna go for the 150 kills then. Because I'm so close. And we did end up getting 2 out of 3 pieces so far, but I'm gonna have to get another task because this one's over. I gotta say, this league has been awesome, probably because the rugs are so crazy. Speaking of crazy... Have you guys seen these silly game ads about some dude that gets into all these crazy scenarios? I didn't even know the game was real until I found out it was actually Hero Wars, our sponsor for this video. All days are coming up, but you can reward yourself right now with Hero Wars. You can play on the browser just like the good old days or on your phone. Lots to do like collecting heroes, decorating your Xmas tree, progressing the event calendar, log in every day to check off the event calendar and get some amazing rewards and enjoying a fun campaign where you unpack the mystery of Dominion. It's been fun leveling up my party of heroes through the streamlined campaign. The game tells me what gear is needed and where to unlock it so I never run out of fun goals to go for. I do enjoy grinding for new gear for my heroes as it directly contributes to ranking them up. Battle system is intuitive as heck as I felt like I knew how to synergize my party of heroes for different fights quickly. The community is huge with over 100 million players globally and the devs are always looking out for us. Nexter is giving top 5 heroes to new players alongside 600 emeralds and 30,000 gold coins too. Nexter is further expanding its lore with its sick new animated short called Lost Hero. Link in my comments to watch the video, I promise. It's good. Becoming a hero isn't so hard if you click the link in the description or scan the QR code to play Hero Wars. Back to leaks. Another CM raid session later with the Dream Team. I've been going a lot with Tedious, the YouTuber, aka Top Page Fire Sailor, and the good old Verf. Tedious got a nice melee setup which saves a lot of time because melee hand at Ohm and Tekton in particular is way faster with melee relic boys in the group. Basically, a diverse relic team is ideal for these raids. That includes you, Rangers. 106? Oh my god, I just hit a 106. Jesus with the Tebow. I am super tired. What do we got? What do we got? Anything good? Oh! Yo, we did it, bros. Nice drops, guys. Let's go, dude. Wait, wait. I don't have my hat. Where's my hat? 
Yes, Fall Ancestral. OMG. Let's go. That's nice. Uh -huh. Last one of the day, too. I am, like, so tired. We did it, though, and achieved maximum magic damage on our build with this Ancestral Lake. I believe we should be able to hit up to literal 100s as our normal max hit now with Fall Ancestral. It is so ridiculous, but hey, it's leaks. Lots of good gains once again at Chambers, and it is time to rest with some AFK skilling. I investigated AFK and Teak Trees for XP, but it's around the same as Mahogany, but less AFK even. So I'll be doing Mahogany next time for those post-99 points. Also, I finally got around to getting the last 4 mil Hunter XP for 25 mil Hunter for those 200 points at Chins. I saved up a bunch of random prayer resources, so I thought it was time to use them all up, thinking it might be enough for that 25 mil prayer task. I have fossils and soul heads and dragon bones to use up. Alright, here we go. We're going to grab all this. And this machine here, I believe this is the one I remember. So we just add this. Look at that. 24,000 experience for the large ones. Holy shit, this is awesome. Yeah, we should get several million from the bones. Oh my god, this is the best one, of course. The rare ones. Hey, boys. Okay, we used up all the fossils now. Uh, 5 mil XP gained. All right, guys, this is the last one. I'm going to keep this for some masters in the near future. Gained another uh, 1 mil per XP. It was pretty decent, you know, 6.5 an hour. Okay, on to the last thing, which is the Dram Bones and stuff. And we're going to go to the Fort Dose Dungeon. Hydro Bones are like way more than Dram Bones. Oh my God, that was the opposite. Holy shit. I was getting like 16 something mil an hour with Dram, but now it's like instantly went up to 18 mil an hour <laughs> this got me close to 25 mil i guess the new plan is to finish up that hydra for that ring and i should get enough dragon hydra bones to finish 25 mil prayer we'll see anyways back to cause with the dream team once again we're nearly done with the kc goal i wonder if we'll get the last few purples we need because that'll be some nice points and some of them will be useful for pvm Ooh, what's this Oh my god, I got a Kodai. Oh my god, I got all three Mega Rares. I need to do Mage Trading Arena then. Because uh, I can't get 200 points unless I get the Kodai one. And I need a Master one for that. Is that Cox completed? Uh, Let's see. Could it, could it be Cox, Cox Purple's completed? Yeah, Cox Purple's not completed actually. Because I don't have a Giant Hunter Crossbow. But we're close. I mean, this is all the rare stuff. The rarest ones. And this is like second tier. Damn, 19 minutes. Sheesh. That's our uh, best six man time, that's for sure. Yo, yo. Oh, DXTB. Oh, let's go. I got everything. I got all the purples. Ha, ha, ha. Let's go. That's sick. Yo, all purples. Done. <laughs> Dang, but I need to get this kit, though. I need to get the Twisted Kit, and uh, I still want to do 26 more. CM Spoon, I know. Oh, what is this? Chambers of Zarek CM Grandmaster, 25kc. Oh, another Dragon Claws. Yo, Mega? Who, who got it? Who got it? Who got it? Let me see. Yo? Oh, nice. I'm glad I did an extra one, dude. Now, TDS is 200 points ascended. <laughs> Finally, time for Abyssal Sire. I've been eagerly waiting to try out Sire because the League points are fantastic here for its time. Sire is by far one of the best bosses for League points, especially this League. My goal is to get the Abyssal Dagger and finish the Bludgeon around 150kc so I can get crazy points for the shortest amount of time. I'm not really trying to get all the way to 300 Sire. Is that perfect Sire? Yes, we did it! <laughs> Dang it. Oh, Unsired? Oh no. 600 combat achievements. Let's go. Unsired. Okay. Alright. We should probably just bank anyways. We're definitely getting points though, no matter what, so... Ooh, bludgeon piece. Let's go. Second one. Good luck. Oh, axe, axe piece again. Let's go. Yes, we did it. <laughs> All of the uh, combat achievements for Sire is done. Poggers. That's like 200 points. Defeat Abyssal Sire 50 times. Another 200 points. What the heck? It's so ridiculous. All right. This could be full bludgeon right here. Oh, Abyssal Dagger. Okay, that works too. Fun uh, fact, I guess. This uh, Abyssal Dagger was something I was planning on 
on trying to rush forward so I can so I can do some early TOA, but yeah, that didn't end up happening because 85 sir still takes quite a bit. Alright, how to reduce the chance of yourself getting uh, your world sniped by someone else? Oh shit, another abyssal dagger. Damn it. At least we keep the world. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> no, the jar. Right, collection lock slot though, I guess. There it is. 50 mil defense. It was time to quickly make this code I want. It's apparently fairly quick, about an hour and change to get this done with Bangor Snow Relic. I need a thousand because uh, every 16 bananas or any fruit is one possess point. But I get eight times that in leaks. There you go. I just need 480 for graveyard and we're done. <laughs> oh my god, this is far so fast. Okay, I'm already done. Oh. Jesus. Wow, oh, that was it. There you go, Master Wands of Task. Okay, okay, just making sure. Just making sure. Okay, I wore the Master Wand. That's 80 points. And then you can do this. Yes. Code I won? 200 points. 54k points. And 15% extra damage. Best one in the game. Also banged out the 100 Brimhaven Agility tickets for 200 tickets. Totally forgot about that task, but really worth it with Trickster since you cannot fail the obstacles. I also did 150 Soratnix kills for points that night. Soratnix gets really crowded during the day at normal times, so I did this late at night. Oh, I got it! Yes! Soratnix Kajo. Yes, sir! Alright, sweet. I think I'm just gonna end it at 150 then. It's 150 Soratnix. I think I'm good forever at this boss. Alright, we're nearing the end of the chamber's grind, so I'm going to knock out some combat tasks. The trio task where we can't mess up handling Ohm's special attacks is a tough one. So there is an easier way, which is letting my teammates actually just sit outside so I don't have to worry about synchronizing with them when I do the solo Ohm methods. I basically skip and dodge every attack, including specials. So that's what I did, and it worked out fine. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Holy shit, I had a feeling, dude. That's bad when it does that. Okay, we can do it. But I gotta be careful. Make sure the head's turning first. Alright, I think we got it. Hey, nice. Perfume trio. Okay, nice. One try, but the, the freaking head not turning right. Oof, scary. I also wrapped up the last group speed stuff. Yo, watch this auto cast though. Oof. That's so nice. 60 was my max, apparently. I forgot to put on my argue, though. Holy, it's so nice being able to just do this the whole time. No manual casting needed. Oh my god, that's awesome. So there was another cool way to use the Kodai with Blood Barrage, and that was at the Rangers at the agility room, the rope room. If you stand far back enough, only one of them can hit you. And you can barrage all three of them. So you could constantly heal with Blood Barrage. And they can hit you like a 40. One of them. But it's okay. You can also heal like 20 every hit. And you attack super fast. So you just keep healing. And never dying. Oh. <laughs> Alright. That's that's perfect. That, that's as good as it'll, it'll get for me. We also wrapped up the solo CM speed time. And also the not dying in a solo CM task as well. Yo, I can still one-shot it. Which means the only thing left was to get 150 KC. Yeah, we did all the CAs for points. I guess the goal would be to try to get elite combat achievements done in this league. Because that's the highest that we can get. Before this guy takes my world. No! Abyssal Dagger, bro. Are you serious? 200 points. Unsired, yo, let's go! <laughs> This better not be a four dagger, please. Oh, I got it. Yes. Okay, I'm done. I'm not going for 300, Cyrus. That that would take too long. I will pass on that. Thank you for the RNG, fellas on Twitch. Holy shit. After five, like, daggers in a row. Look at how many daggers I have. There you go. Nice. 200 points. We're very close to giant rank now. And we're probably going to go over it. 25 mil. Yes. Oof. Look at the points. I have a bunch of death runes that I'll never be able to use. So it's time to sell them. 
And I'm going to get 260k tall cool because I'm just going to buy the full set. You know, full obsidian. That's 80 points. Might as well just do it. All right. Full obsidian done. The obsidian armor is actually one of my best in slot melee armors. It gives me melee strength. So when I'm AFKing my melee stats for the 25, 35, 50 mil tasks, it'll be a bit quicker. After finishing my little trip at Sire and racking up a ton of points, I got another Hydra task. The idea is to finish this Brimstone Rain around 150kc, so I can finish two tasks in one go and end the journey there. There's the 300kc task, but again, like Sire, I don't want to do it unless I end up going way over 150 for this ring. Oh, there we go, 150 kills. And I completed all the Hydra stuff. All the Hydra Com achievements. Oh, bro, I got a three red receipts from Hydra. Hello. <laughs> uh, I mean that that's definitely uh thirty five mil right there. <laughs> oh shit. There it is, thirty five mil Slayer. I've obtained it. Dragon rank. Let's freaking go. Oh, I still have a lot of PVM stuff I want to do. Oh, I got it! Yeah, I don't really think I care enough for another Hydra session. I think one, 200 Hydras and Leaks is uh, fine enough for me. Yes. Alright, guys. We're going to make our Brimstone Ringing Leaks. This should have been 200 points, but whatever. I'll take 80. Alright, this is slightly better stats than the Ring of Shadows, except the Prayer. This thing actually has Prayer Bonus. Now it's time for break for my AFKs right now. We're mostly just going for the 25 mil and the 35 mil XP task for points. The next few days, I just mixed in chambers when I got the team and I did some TOA combat achievements for the overall combat achievement point task. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, no way. Another twisted bow. Chill. And he got them all. Oh, a kit. Yo, I can't believe you got another one, dude. What the heck? No way. Oh, we did it though. 200 points for 50 challenge modes. And I did not get a twisted kit. And I'm not going to try to go for it because, yeah, it's not boosted. So screw it. I don't think I want to try for that. All right. So we just got to do four more raids in the normal categories so that we can complete the combat achievements for 400 points. Hey, wait. Oh, someone got a Dextro, but there it is. 150 chambers done. Chambers of Seracom achievements all done. Look at that. 400 points. Yes. Overkill as hell, but we did it. All right. There's a few more I still want to do. We're just going to finish all the Tazar ones here. Just safe up and we won't die. All right. Throw your axes and we call it a day. There we go. We did it. Congrats. <laughs> nice. 20 speed tasks too. Oh, wow. Look at our time. 1337. Wow. Leap. Very cool. Alright, we're gonna get it. Nice. Oh, auto medics. Congrats. Alright, we can finish the raid because I need KC actually, I realize. 132 to elite. Run a fight remedy task. Let's go. Oh, I got it. Oh my god, oh my god. Blood essence. Yay. I also did a lot of TOA tasks. Most of these tasks did not post much of a challenge with the relics and my TOA experience combined. But the perfect Akka tasks are still super annoying because it has to be done with another person. Some of the mechanics become a true menace to deal with perfectly in groups. Also, the enraged phase is always annoying to perfectly dodge the swarm of moving balls. I decided the only task I wasn't going to do was the perfect Grandmaster Akka task and the 50 Expert KC task because it's not worth the hassle to fully complete TOA and leaks for that task. Also, I will be getting the Elite Combat task done for the points, no problem, even if I don't fully complete TOAs. Oh, we got it. Let's go. Alright, that took about an hour. Goddamn. But, that is the only annoying task that we have to do for the uh, normal. But yeah, we got five points for that, so it's worth. Oh, yes, load the sands. Let's go. I just need one more of those drops, and I can finish the Menophyte Remedy one. Oh, nice. We got it. Yeah, all right. Now we just need to survive. Oh, but now... Oh, okay. We don't have to survive. Good thing we have the freaking axe, though. Another five points. Let's go. Nice. Resourceful Raider done as well. 15 points in one task. Let's go. 
Oh man, that was OP. Damn, that was way too good, way too fun. Because we were just absolute destruction. There we go, we just cheese it by the <laughs> No memories, no nothing, bro. We just force it. Wait, tell us. Yes, maybe I'm the boss. Two more tasks I want to do for the TOA. Uh, there is the I can do it. This all infos and this guy has to be level four and I have to kill without dying. And then there is also pray Zebek, which is no prayer use. And you just also need to have it at level four and all invos. So I have it all set up now so that as the last two bosses here. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, I did it. I still did it somehow. Okay, we're fine. I haven't practiced that in so long. Not again. I got it, I got it. Yes, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, we're good. There we go. Nice, one try. Dang it, I gotta do the rock one. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Fuck. Whatever, it's okay. I can already almost finish this. I did it! Hey yo, the easiest task ever. Oh, I got it! Holy shit, that was awesome. I'm so glad I went for the extra combat achievement stuff. Yo, we did it. 50 white lilies in the bag. Hey, 50 Menifite Remedies. Nice. There we go. Alright, this should do it. Took about 500 dense blocks. Finally, with Chambers done and TOA tasks done, there's only a few combat achievement stuff I want to do, which are all the Tazar related tasks like the Fight Caves, the Inferno, and the Special Jad Challenges including the Lee Special Jad Challenge. There's also for Dorvis and Leviathan, but there's no CA task for those, so I'll probably just do 50 kills of each for some quick lead points, and just to see what they're like for some quick fun. I remembered I got some extra bones from Hydro Grind, so I used them finally. Oh shit, damn, 29 million hour though, you're right. That's crazy with freaking uh, Hydro Bones. Alright, sent it. 25 mil prayer. Well... The power of the Kronos, it's actually insane because I literally planted this like maybe um, at the start of the day. Way less, like 10 hours. There it is, 35 mil farming and uh, yeah, we're not pursuing farming anymore. I pretty much caught up with all the seeds. Oh yeah, I forgot. There was a 25 Scotizel task and I have a bunch of totems. So I just wrapped that up as it's super quick and a good 1 in 65 pet chance. One of the best for pets. Use your totems before the league's over, guys. It's well worth it. And you're dead. 25 skill Tizo kills. Ooh, 50 key points. It's another day, so we start the last phase of PVM goals for leagues. I will do the Jag Comet task today. Alright, gonna lure him all the way to this. Because that's where the, the minions don't spawn, so it takes a while for them to travel over here. Alright, this should do it. This should do the trick. I mean, 388s. There we go. Ooh, 200 combat achievements. Deny healers, you didn't... Say anything about a bat and uh oh five k master okay i was already on my fifth kc the most interesting one that we're going to be doing is the no prayer drain task self-explanatory it's one of the hardest tasks to do in general for combat achievements but in leagues i can cheese it pretty hard with the banker's no relic normally i have to perfectly flick my prayers the whole time and i have to reposition where i have to be for every wave but now I can just not use prayer at all except for at Jad because I can just combo eat unlimited sharks and carambons whenever I take too much damage, especially from the majors, the 360s. It is still challenging and there were some close calls where I almost got comboed out, but way easier doing it this way. I didn't even scout the wave so I had no idea where anything spawned, but I just chilled by the entrance because nothing can spawn there, so I had plenty of time to freeze and kill the bats when they were approaching. I probably could have entered with zero prayer, so even the bats wouldn't even matter if it touched me, but it ended up being fine anyways. Shadow delay is so huge, so the hits that would usually kill the enemy still takes a while to reach them. So let's say I'm attacking the major from far away, the major can still keep attacking, so I gotta be careful with that. I try to trap them and flinch them or hit and run away so that the majors don't send too many hits on me to prevent getting comboed out. Wait, do I revive or what? Okay, we're still fine. Oops. That's gonna take a bit of practice, but... <laughs> I didn't, uh, I didn't fail the task, so we're good. 
Mm. Yeah, we'll just have to do it this way. Oh, I did it. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right. I did a little bit of flicking at the end, but I, I trust that if I only have to do it for a few seconds, uh, I definitely won't fail. Okay, that was cool. We kind of just yolo yoloed it and it worked out. So just spamming food. All right. Okay. All that's left is the uh, melee one where we just take off the shadow and then yeah, we put on like a. Hmm. I guess I'll just put on put on a fang or something. Make sure I. All right. There we go. This should do it. The healers don't have time. There we go. I case common achievements 400 points give it to me nice all right honestly we're gonna go over way over 60k at this rate here we go nope not lucky oh there goes all my capes i decided it was time to stack some clues because you always gotta do some clues in leagues for points they're always amazing points and so i did 10 to 20 of every clue basically and we'll open them all when i'm closer wrapping up leagues damn 20 beginners were super fast um, I guess we move on to easy clues. Let's go. Well, guys, uh, easies are already done. That was so fast. I almost felt like same speed as freaking beginners. All right, we got 20 medium clues. Uh, they are so much slower. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, that makes life easy. I'll just get like 10 of them then. Just because there might be some steps that are not even worth Completing and I'll just straight up drop it because they'll still remember my steps. Well, alright, so I got five masters. Apparently 10 isn't gonna get me really anything for points, so I'll stop there. It took a while too. Alright, we're gonna be uh, opening all these clues tomorrow, or I mean next time I stream. Yep, I'm ready to open these clues. I'm pretty sure I won't do much more uh, after this. Hopefully everything works out well and I get like the best task that I can with what I'm given here. So let's go. We got beginners. Oh, there we go. Our first item already a task done for 10 points. Let's get it. Oh, we got a new item. 10 slots too. Hell yeah, just from 13. Okay. Oh, flare trousers. What? 35 uniques from easy clues. Opening 15 of them. 25 easy clues. That's right. That's why I did 25. Here we go. 35 uniques. Oh, wait, what is this one? Are you just opening a medium clue in a month in? I know, right? I've never even opened a medium clue until the the month into leagues. Wow. Oh, 10 uniques already. Another task done. Ooh, holy sandals. Really good. I definitely haven't equipped a trimmed amulet. Damn, there it is. 40 points. All right, climbing boots. Oh my god, I got rangers? Is that a task? Tell me that's a task. Oh, it is a task. <laughs> Let's go. I just randomly guessed. Nice. Yo, let's go. All right, this is why I had to do some clues, man, because I, I knew there were some jackpots here. Damn, we're getting so many points. Holy moly. 20 uniques from hard clues. Already? I opened four. Oh, I did. 50 uniques. Holy shit. I like what they did with the clues, though. They, they're so, like, crazy. You get so much shit. 30 hard slots, 200 points. Oh, there it is. 10 uniques, 345. Five more items. Come on. We're so close. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, third age amulet? Oh my god. I got my first ever third age. In But it's leaks, though. It doesn't really count. Okay, we got a third age. What the hell? Man, I really wish I got a third age in the main game, though. Let's see if I can get a mimic. If I can get one, that'd be amazing. Oh, damn. Another 80 points. Okay, never mind. I was just lucky, I guess. Wow, another 80 points. What the heck? Okay, last one, man. All or nothing. Dang, no mimics at all from the 15 clues I did. But I got way more than I expected out of, out of the clues. I got like 2,000 points. Now, we're going to refresh. And I've gained over 2,000 points since I logged out. So, Dude, what the hell? Look at that. Our rank halved. I also did one Inferno run and did a few Inferno tasks in one go on the same day. I definitely want to split up the Inferno challenges to at least two days because Inferno just takes a lot of energy, so I definitely don't want to finish all in one go. It was a fun task because I did the No Ancient task, which meant I cannot freeze the Nibblers. 
Oh, look at this. Chin Tank Warrior. This is the Chin Chin Tank Warrior setup, guys. Amazing, isn't it? Look at that. Boom! Chin Berserk Tech. So good for this task. Oh my god, so good. <laughs> Yo, this is so good. Oh my god. Yes, I'm so happy I get to use these chins. Holy shit, that was so good. Ooh, the chins work for a few things, I gotta say. Alright, that should do this task, hopefully. Should be. Yes. Okay, cool. I did the jad skip task as well with the axe. It was so much easier. All I had to do was flick jab for a bit until I get to the enraged healer phase at Zuck. And as soon as that happens, I throw my axe at Zuck because it also happens to be under 20% when the healers show up. And then it's Jover. The hard part is making sure that I'm in the middle when the enraged phase starts because that's the only part my axe can reach Zuck, even with the long range. It definitely does not have a great range, so I knew that ahead of time. Though, it was pretty easy to trigger the enraged phase whenever I wanted to because the shadow barely missed even in Zuck in leaks. I think I got it. I think I got it. Oh, I got it. Yes. The axe skip nibbler chaser. Jab, what are you? Yo, that was sick. Nice timing. That was the easiest jazz skip of my life with the axe. <laughs> we'll save the, the last few for tomorrow. I remember doing this task in the main game and this is the complete opposite of how hard it used to be. All right, let's do the combat challenges for the six chats, guys. This is next. We're going to finish this now. The Tazar Cat Rex challenges. We're going to do these now. There's quite a few. I think the only challenging one is going to be pretty much um, this one. The It wasn't a fluke because you got to do fifth and sixth in a row without dying. Oh, 800 combat achievement points? Yo. There's a jad task where you have to fight four jads at once, but you have to melee, except you don't actually have to. Now, if I use like a shadow, it of course would not count. But if I manual cast this task using uh, ice barrage or something, it will work. But it's a bit tricky because I have to constantly switch prayers and then constantly switch to my spell book so that I can click on the spell and then use it on jad. So it was definitely a bit of a learning experience to get the timing right. It took me a few tries. Uh, I was expecting it to win and done it, on it honestly, but uh, yeah, it was pretty challenging. And it was definitely faster than me meleeing all four because Mage Relic, dude, like, you just gotta maximize your mage whenever possible. Alright, that's finally done and over with. Okay. There you go. That should do it, right? Yes! There you go. Multi style specialist. Let's go. Elite combat achievements are done. Nice. All right. That's kind of like one of my second big goals outside of giant rank. I wanted to do later on. I figured I wanted for it and we got it done. So that's uh, another 400 points. Oh, okay. Well, we did the five and six in a row. Dang. Well, all the text kit racks combat achievements are done. That's another 400 points. Jesus Christ. Well, I did my 50 Leviathan and for Dorvis kills to wrap up the PVM session for the day. Both super easy with a shadow. Even for Dorvis, whom is one of the most tanky to magic bosses in the game, was no issue. For Dorvis though, still shred through my paper defense, so I have to eat mid kill, which is a rare thing I have to do in leagues when it comes to most PVM. I did get two of the orbs, but I wasted them super fast, so we'll have to move on from that little side hustle. I had my fun. Oh, there it is. Maybe. Oh, we got lucky. Wow. Oh, we got Dran Lake's task done from that. What? Two of them? Two? What the hell? Anyways, more AFK points for training my combat stats to 50 mil. And I also got 50 mil range too for more points to end my night. All right, we're on to our next day. So we're going to be wrapping up the Infernal task. All right, guys, we're going to be working on this task next. Wasn't even close. Do this without letting your HP fall below 50 during any wave in the Inferno. That includes Zuck. Yeah. Nice. Was it even close? <laughs> oh my god. That's, it's so stupid. 
how, how OP it is though with the setup. Holy. Next one is killing Zuck without equipping Ranger Magic. The other annoying task was the melee only task, not counting Zuck. I had to use the strategy where I put a melee weapon on and manually cast Ancient Magics. This does work, but it is a ton of manual clicking on the higher level waves especially. So I can't really prayer flick the same way that I normally would in Inferno while manual casting. So I had to take a bit more time to think about how I want to deal with more complex waves and trapping mobs. A uh, little tricky there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to do it like this. Ugh. Not how I want to do things. Just a bit slower. You can still perfectly while doing this. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Okay. Sick. That's going to help. There you go. Last wave. Alright. We're going to make sure we put on the, the shadow now. Alright. There we go. Should be done. There we go. Facing Jad head on is done. Oof. One and done that one. That was uh, definitely harder harder than the 50 HP one. I thought that one's going to be a bit easier, but it's not. The manual cast is super bad. All right, now we just have to do one more Inferno. Okay. I, oh, oh, shit. I got it. I got it. Oof. Nice. Ah, it's done. No more Inferno for leagues. 200 points for completing it five times. 400 points for completing all the achievements. Hell yeah. Oh, how many are we at? 64k clear. Let's go. And finally, we're on that last PVM challenge. We've already way exceeded Dragon Rank, but there's that one extra fun challenge I have to do, which is the Special Leagues Jad Challenge. So this challenge is like the 6 Jad Challenge, except every time you kill a Jad, additional monsters spawn on top. So that means you have to kill those extra monsters and also flake Jad. So this one is definitely like a huge level up. But luckily, I've done six jads quite a bit now at this point, so I know what's up. So I just need to brace myself for that extra challenge. And also, I have that like, super OP magic build, so I feel a bit more confident due to that. It's the hardest challenge in leagues, though, essentially. So let's see how my ultimate magic build fare against this challenge. Of course, with my experience, too. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Definitely, uh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling something. Oh, that was scary. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, quack. Oh, shit. Oof. God damn. The majors, bro. Oof, nice, nice, nice. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, no. No. Ah, oh, dang it. Two guys attacked me so fast. Ah, uh, I didn't see that. It, cha it changed attack speed, but we almost had it, though. I want to try something dumb. I want to try something dumb. Sometimes you just got to be a little smarter because... If I have to deal with that 2 jat attack speed increase at the end, I'm going to be so annoyed. Because I'm going to probably die to it so many times. Oh, wait, I forgot. No! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did he heal? Oh, yo. Well, that kind of sucks. Ah, oh, damn it. I think I know what to do. I, I, I think I trolled there. Hmm. A little more. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 All right. Just double check. Okay. Double check. Yo, easy axe. Wait, does this? What happens? A whole while they spawned. Okay, just in time. Nice. I figured it out. Yeah. All right. Not bad. Oh, I also have a Din's Bulwark, by the way. So that, that's going to give me some points, too. Hey, we did it. Probably the hardest challenge or something, right? In League. So, yeah, that was pretty, pretty good. We also get this kit for the Din's Bulwark. And there's a task to equip an ornament kit item. 
Yeah. Alright, I'm at the point where I'm finally editing this video, and it's a lot of clips. I got like 300 freaking clips to go over. But in the meantime, I figure I should do something really AFK, like going for the Fissage. Yes, I actually found a really nice way to AFK at the Brutal Red Dragons. Perfectly cycle all three with our Shadow setup, and it works really, really well. I check like once every few minutes, but yeah, I've been here for a long time trying to get this Fissage while editing. Yo guys, so Visage is 1 in 2,000 in leagues, right? And you're not going to believe this, but I've already killed 700. I want to say less than 3 hours. Perfect. Yeah, I like this spot a lot, actually. It's really nice. This little spot. Oh, I got it! Oh, yo! Oh my god, the freaking Visage. Dude, right... About when I was about to go to sleep, dude. Holy shit. You guys aren't going to believe this. 6,700 kills. Show you guys the picture, of course. But, yep, this is the last thing I, I think I want to do for leagues, man. Because I, I figure, hey, I'll probably get it on drop rate. So, as you can see, making this Visage is 200 points. And equipping the DFS is also 200 points. So, this is definitely a really good task to go for, like, super later on. If you're going for ranks or something. I just wanted to try fish hunting once in leagues. And uh, I don't think I'll ever do it again. This took way too long. But yeah, we got 65k points to end the leagues journey. I'm very happy with that. But yeah, if you really do enjoy this video, definitely leave a like. I would highly appreciate that. But otherwise, happy holidays. I hope to see you guys with some Iron Bar progress in the main game very soon.